tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Struve is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 61 wins, 35 losses. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Out of Beaver with the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Stefan Sky Straight And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record now. 40 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 229 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Torres. This is from the UFC Championship. You know, if you're doing my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's all right, fight. here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Oh! Another kick! Big right hand land! that foot to the target. Oh! What a leg kick! Wow! And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh, doing a damn good job with those leg kicks, Joe. And now you'll start to see his opponent slow down. Absolutely. And he's looking for that left. That one hurt. Oh. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Big body shot. He's out of full guard and into half guard now. Excellent.
excellent movement here on the ground. Moves into full mount. Awesome control from the top. In half guard. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Stroop. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't. He's in a position where he's going to get armbarred here. He's got to be very careful. It looks like he's got the armbar locked up. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. Straight down technique. Is. Perfect technique. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 58 seconds of the very first round. To join the winner by tap out and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Mia Chich is 15 years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have an 8-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mogliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Torres. All right, 
this is for the UFC championship. I want you to warm up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the... He's hurt. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. And now starting to snap oh, off that tag. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Punch coming. It's blocked. How about that shin? These guys are going at it here right away. Trading blows. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Inside leg kick. Rip the body there. Powerful leg kick. Hard straight punch. Oh, what a wild exchange. Oh, beautiful takedown. Now is where things could get really interesting. Back to the feet now. Switching stances here. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in. Right, right into to the liver. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice. Whoa! He's definitely hurt. Back up. Another takedown attempt here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Perfectly timed sweep. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Miocic gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Just caught him with a punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, as far as highlights go, they don't get much prettier than that. A huge kick to end the night here tonight. He caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and that one was a... We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Uh...